Bishop Whitehead was the bishop that was robbed at his church in Brooklyn. Some tells me this wasn't his first stick up. Shit is bananas. That robbery went viral before those dudes could even hit the pawn shop. Allegedly. Churches already don't pay taxes and these motherfuckers still skimming off the top? Rants with Ant, damn it. The bishop is in my top three most important pieces on the chessboard, without a doubt. That's because they can only move at an angle. So in some sinister like type of way, that's like they always come in at you sideways, so you never see it coming. Bishop and Juice, great actor, hands down, top five. He was the bipolar villain though. Like it wasn't his fault, but he was still badass motherfucker. Like he shot all his friends and everything, crazy. Never seen it coming, follow me. Now Bishop Whitehead, Bishop Whitehead was the bishop that was robbed at his church in Brooklyn. Not only was he robbed at his church in front of his peoples and his wife, he got robbed while giving a sermon on a live stream. Shit is bananas. Ain't no telling how many people was watching the actual robbery happen when it was on live. But according to the streets, Bishop got like 1.5 million followers. That's just Instagram. That robbery went viral before those dudes could even hit the pawn shop. Yo, the blogs, the blogs was doing them dirty though. They called him the Fendi Father, the Burberry Bishop, and my personal favorite, Deacon Dior. So I had to watch the video too because I couldn't believe what I was hearing. Like, ain't no way you niggas rob a church and a bishop at the same time? You can't make this shit up. And sure enough, there he was, Bishop Whitehead, mid-service, and here comes the goons. Bishop knew what time it was. Something tells me this wasn't his first stick up. Allegedly, allegedly, this is all alleged. You know, the conspiracy theorist in me was like, oh, something ain't right, but whatever, we'll get to that. First report said the thieves got away with 400,000 in jewels. Now, maybe I'm just a broke motherfucker and I don't know shit, but that might not be a lot of jewels for someone. Or it's, you know, if you got big pieces, I don't know. I don't know how much jewelry costs, but 400,000, that sounds like a lot to a motherfucker who ain't got 400,000 in jewelry. So I'm still like, yo, that's crazy that they had that much on. Like, like I said, maybe I'm just a broke motherfucker and I don't know shit. But Bishop said, nah, that's cap. He said, shit, we had at least a mill up on the stage. I don't know what pockets they was counting, allegedly. Now, I don't know what made him like decide to come out and say that the report was fake. I don't know like what he was trying to prove. I said to myself though, I said, did he up the numbers for an insurance claim? Allegedly, well, I'm not claiming he did this. I'm just, this is the way my brain works. Like I see scams pop off and I'm like, how did this happen? Like fast forward about a week after he got robbed, news broke that Bishop was scamming his congregation. One of his church members filed a lawsuit with the Brooklyn Supreme Court back in 2020. Lawsuit said Bishop had scammed this old lady out of about 90 racks, her entire life savings. Because Bishop told her he was going to do some investing or real estate renovations. You know the vibes. Buy a house, fix it up, sell a house, take the money, never call again. Yeah, that one. Allegedly. The lawsuit said that Bishop was trying to buy a mansion out here in Jersey. Apparently he had the 90K, he was gonna put that with something else. But that deal fell to shit. Like, and when that deal went to shit, Bishop took that money and went and bought an apartment complex out in Connecticut. Allegedly. Allegedly. No problems, man. Word on the web, this ain't his first time scamming. Apparently before he got saved by God, he was out in these streets and he was doing some things. You know, he had some pieces that was hitting. I mean, he has a record, but you know, it's still all alleged. I don't want no problems. But for real though, I'm mad because churches already don't pay taxes and these motherfuckers still skimming off the top? Ain't that about a bitch. Rants with Ant, damn it.